and then as you see this is a cracking day today or it was at least now the clouds are coming in as you saw i just finished some uh, mobility work core activation glute activation etc etc uh, yeah feel good just finished some coffee a small breakfast some electrolytes and we're watching Ironman Frankfurt. Patrick Nilsson, fellow Swedish racing. James Kanema, fellow Stellenbosch triathlete, is also racing. And Jean Paul is uh, FaceTiming with his girlfriend, checking out my bike there. I think he's a bit jealous. Basically, that's what's going on. And body feels really good, I would say. The crash doesn't bother me at all. Still a bit sore, but uh, I'm definitely ready to race. And I feel like I'm in very good shape, so very excited to race today. That's it for now. I'm gonna go for a jog now and then I'll see you guys later. Bye. You feel ready, Morten? I feel really ready. The bike is ready to be checked in. We're just waiting for the transition air to open. <laughs> Top 10? Yep. Top 5? We'll see. <laughs> Here we are. We are at the Athletes Lounge. We are about to check in our bikes into the transition area. And I'm standing here with the vlog boss, Ludicrated. Yeah. Checked in, good to go, everything is alright. I'm just gonna do a short jog to one of the legs and then start preparing to get into the water and swim. This is probably the last thing I'll say, so I'll see you after the race. Maybe I have some footage, I don't know. Otherwise, I'll see you now. now. Ciao! Yeah, that was my race. Stuck on the small chain ring the whole way because my front derailleur stopped working and it went down on the small chain ring. Going up the hills, I was fine, but coming down on the straight, I was pedaling like 130 in cadence and everyone was just passing me. So another shit race. I think I finished like third from the end, but at least I finished. That's a super excited. Yeah, I'm back again. Back in the apartment, showered, calmed down a bit. Still uh, very, 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 very disappointed, obviously. I don't know what to do. Can someone have this much bad luck, to be honest? So this was, uh, so far this year I've had, uh, I don't even know, crashed out of two races, dnf one because I wasn't fit enough. And now I've like finished, I don't know, way, way back because of mechanical failure. <sighs> yeah, well I should probably start from the beginning. I actually had a really, really, really good start. I was like, I started faster than for my own good. It's definitely within the top 10 to the first boy. But then, uh, I don't know, I took a lot of beating around the boys and I freaked out a bit. So for the rest of the swim, I just tried to uh, calm down and uh, I didn't really feel swim fast, but I recovered a bit because I was panicking, definitely. Came out of the water at 30th, 30th, 30th. So it was still decent in a in a second pack, and that pack later caught up with the front pack. So yeah, but then I don't know. Coming out on the bike, like 800 meters into the lap, there was a hill. So on the first lap, going up that hill, my front derailleur automatically went down to the small chain ring. It didn't really bother me then because the hill was quite steep, so I was probably gonna go down there anyway. But then coming up, like, and I tried to shift it up again, nothing happened. It was dead. So yo, I tried to tap it all the time, all the time, all the time, but nothing happened. I was still like, it was, I didn't worry too much then, because I thought like, okay, if I just be smart here, uh, and stay up front, then I'll be able to stick here. And we went up a hill and then uh, rode on a little plateau. Oh wait, is that better? <laughs> yeah, so we went up a hill, was on a plateau, that was quite technical. So there, there was no worries at all, I was sat uh, quite comfortably in the bunch and then we started descending again 
and yeah, didn't really struggle there either. But then at the last part of the descent and coming out on the flat again, we were up at like 50k an hour and riding 50k an hour on the small chain ring is uh, not optimal. I was spinning my legs very fast and uh, yeah, just lost contention with the group. But then I saw there was a bunch behind me as well, so they caught me and uh, the same thing again, like I rode with them up the hill. Struggle down the hill and then uh, now I just decided to try to stay up front so I uh, Yeah, if I was up front then uh, maybe I could fall back slowly on the flat I was actually able to stay up front, but I had to work my ass off and I was so tired coming into the hill on the third lap Or on the, yeah, on the third lap, so Going up that hill people started attacking and I just flew off <sighs> Got caught by another cat by another pack again I was able to sit with them for the rest rest of the race and then yeah I would decided to go out on the run but there was no motivation at all so I just uh, ran through it I didn't want to DNF I wanted to finish but I don't know I wasn't super excited to run fast I don't know what to say really it's not even funny I'm just like what the fuck and I don't know what's gonna happen now the plan was to do this race um, have a little break just for a couple of days to uh, recover a bit because I've been racing quite a lot and traveled quite a lot and I feel like my body is uh, is tired and uh, during these days I will just rethink I will definitely continue though like it's not like that um, there's a lot of fun races coming up in August like the European Cup in uh, Malmo Nordic Champs and uh, then there's a lot of races going on this fall as well so I just need to recover a bit, rethink a bit, just to uh, get back mentally because now everything just felt like shit obviously. I didn't know I could have this but much bad luck to be honest, but apparently I can and uh, I thought the luck was gonna change with, after the Swiss chance but obviously it's, my bad luck is continuing. And the annoying, annoying thing is that like I can't even do anything about it, like my I've had the bike for since the beginning of June, now it's the beginning of July, so just over a month. And I'm riding DI2 obviously. I haven't read up a lot on the DI2, but I know, I've heard that you could ride about like 2000 kilometers of one charge. And I definitely charged it up full when I got it. And I'm no, no way near 2000 kilometers yet. So I don't know what happened today. But the, the battery is definitely dead. Frustrating. Very frustrating. So, if anyone's wondering, it's not the bike itself, it's the gears that are like, cocking up at the moment. So, yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do with it to see if I can fix it. Yeah, I guess that's all I wanna say now. I'm gonna end it now and maybe, yeah, just regroup, pack my shit, and then I go back to Sweden tomorrow again. Okay, thank you for following me. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, bye.